Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts with lesson number three. Warning, warning, warning. If you are, this came from my father, if you are in a nightclub and you think you know the guys that you normally hang out with, and they're nice working people and they seem to be on the up and up. You may have known them a year or two, but guess what? Alcohol changes things. And alcohol changes people. Listen to this. You get a couple of guys and they're working people. They wear suits and ties. But they drink a little more than normal one night. And all of a sudden, you are their ace boon coon. And they want you to hang out with them for the night. You, with them, two, three, four, five men, whatever, you are going to hang with these guys. So you're trusting. You get in the car. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun. And they drive up into the mountains, baby, or they drive into the woods, depending upon what kind of a state, country, or city you live in. And all of a sudden, you find out that you are the main event. You hear me? Listen to this. They are so drunk. They have no regard for you. Between the alcohol and the Peters down there that are as stiff as a rod, all they want to do is have fun at your expense, not with you at your expense. And if you're not careful and you don't know how to finesse your way out of that mess and you walk right into the trap and you go on a nice little long drive, you could end up dead somewhere, especially if you fight back. You watch yourself. If you got a bunch of guys that want you to go joyriding with them, you decline. Let them go joyride with themselves. You decline. Don't feel like you. they might not like you the next day if you say no tonight. You better say no. I almost got raped that way. But because my father had warned me, I started to recognize the scenario after I got in the car. Yeah, dumb dumb got in the car. And I'm looking around, and these guys were insurance agents, working men. And I had known them for like three or four years. And all of a sudden, we're going to go ride. Come on, ride with us. My father warned me. I'm in the car. They are drunk as a skunk. And you know how I got out of it? I told them. Because, you know, there are certain subject matters that can take a stiff, you know what, and make it go limp. Yeah, kind of kills the mood. I told them I had a case of diarrhea. And they better get me to the bathroom real quick because I'm going to make a mess in that car. Or they turned that car around because they were heading up to the mountains. Mountains, I said. They turned that car around so fast and got down that hill. And I said, just get me to a hotel. I don't care. Just get me. Because I was trying to get where there was a desk clerk. And I was going to whisper to the desk clerk, call the cops. Because I knew what was up. See, they were so drunk and so dumb. They actually started saying, boy, we could have fun with you up here in these mountains. And nobody would know. That's when the ding ding went off. And the alarms went off. And the whistles and sirens started going. Yeah, it took me that long. But anyway, I worked my way out of that, got downhill, pulled up in the parking lot of a hotel, told them I'll be right there. I'm going to go use the bathroom, told the desk clerk what was really going down. The desk clerk said, look, I got a room that just emptied out. A guy had a prostitute in there. If you're OK with that, I'll open the door and make it look like you're going to use the bathroom. And you lock every lock up in that door. And you can spend the night till the morning. They ought to get tired of waiting. But if they don't leave, I'll call the cops. And I said, thank you. And I was able to get in that room 
and they waited about 15 minutes. And finally, after a few calls, girl, what you doing? Get Come on out of there. They finally left. And I escaped by the skin of my chinny chin chin because I had a father who warned me and I, my brain finally clicked in the gear and I recognized all the warning signals. Be warned and beware. Don't walk into traps blindfolded. You got a brain. Use it.